Hey Taurus, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Much appreciated. Is this going to be your weekly reading? It's really going to be like a 10-day reading, but we're calling it the weekly reading anyway. Um, it's going to be January 22nd to the 31st, 2020. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that are guided here to see this reading on YouTube. The reading is for Taurus, anyone with Taurus placements who's guided here to see this reading. January 22nd to the 31st, 2020. All right, let's see, guys. What do we need to know for Taurus? What's most important about this reading that they need to know, please? <clears throat> Taurus. Okay. What else does... Okay, that was fast. All right. All right, guys, it's vice versa tarot. The side of the card it lands on is the side we read, okay? Different perspective on each side of the card. All right, what else do we need to know for Taurus here? What's important? <clears throat> Beautiful, right in the center. Gorgeous. What else does Taurus need to know here, please? Taurus. Oops, way too many. We're going to start that all over. That's just too many. What else does Taurus need to know here, please? What's important? January 22nd to the 31st, 2020. Taurus reading. Okay, whoa, all right, one more, too many, can we just get one please for Taurus, one or two, mm. Taurus, oh, too many, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but flopping out, just one or two more cards, okay, there they are, two more cards, oh, nice ones too, beautiful, all right, bottom of the deck, gorgeous, look, Temperance, one of my favorite, favorite cards of all times in all decks. Archangel Michael. Okay, let's take a peek here at what's happening. I want to look at this first. Go back a little bit in time here. Oh, wow. All right, yeah. All right. Interesting. Wow, my goodness. All right, I have to say, I feel like someone did something sneaky and shady and they escaped or walked away from something here. And I feel like it was with you, Taurus, the Empress. Um, it was third party related here with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. And this is a very third party cup with this Three of Cups. Um, this was a dream of a relationship that I feel never really got off the ground here or never really stood any, it didn't have a leg to stand on because of, you know, there was, somebody was being deceptive and sneaky. They were going off to meet with other women, other men, whatever it was. Um, it was a wish, but it, it, like you were wishing on that star and now you need to really figure out what you're going to do about it. Are you going to walk away from it? Are you going to stick with it? We do have Archangel Michael, who has stepped in, helping you try to decide, do you stay with this or walk away from it? Um, <clears throat> it's really, I feel like it's a relationship that never even really came into true being. You know, it's like, it's, it's like a dream. Um, <clears throat> but the truth is with this, all this third party sneaky shady stuff going on here, even if you weren't aware of it, it really wasn't a dream. It was going to be a nightmare. All right, so let's get into it. Let's find out what's going on here. As we come into the reading, I am so sorry. I don't know if you're having issues talking or not, but I feel like my throat is my throat chakra does wants to close up, and normally that's because people are not talking when I'm doing a reading for people who are having a hard time saying things to each other. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I am so sorry. My throat chakra just doesn't want to open up and talk. All right, let's try to get into this. All right. 
Ace of Wands here. This is a new beginning that's almost like sort of explosive out of the blue. See how this lightning bolt comes out of nowhere and then strikes that tree? It's like a new beginning, but it struck something that's very grounded. Um, you know, I'm just noticing the tree being very grounded. Almost as if you were forced into a new beginning. And it might not even have been the new beginning you wanted. It's, it's kind of abrupt and out of nowhere. Um, this might have left you feeling really down. Really focusing on all that was lost here. Instead of focusing on what you really do have. Um, and this, I feel like that's why Archangel Michael has stepped in to say, Hey, don't focus on this. Start looking out for something more balanced here with the Six of Pentacles. In this Six of Pentacles, this person's almost like the magician manifesting in something much more balanced for their life. And that's what you're being guided to do. Walk away from that thing that was emotional and wasn't built on a solid foundation. I really feel it wasn't. Um, right in the center of your reading, this is, this is your, um, Ten of Cups. This is what you you want. This is the thing that you, I feel, thought you were getting. Um, but this is, what you got was a bunch of betrayal. A bunch of swords right in your armor here. But, I like this card better than I like the traditional side of it, where you're just left for dead here. On this side... This person got your armor, or all these people, however many there were, if it was one person, ten swords to your armor. But you, you as yourself, survived it. <clears throat> all this might have come out with the eclipse that's been going on. We're in, we, we're in eclipse season. This is something that might be revealed to you, might have already been be revealed to you, may be revealed to you in the future. I feel as though... Um, there's been betrayal here. I mean, you can't deny that we've got, you know, this third party stuff going on here. You can't deny that there's been someone who was being sneaky and shady and might have even snuck out of something here. Um, look, like trying to get away with something is what they're doing. Um, you can't deny that Archangel Michael has stepped in here to help you see not all is lost here. Yeah, you might have been pushed into a new beginning that you didn't think was the beginning you were getting. You were looking for this. It's different. Okay, and you feel that grief. And you still feel like, well, where am I going to put my pentacles now? Where am I going to find this balance? Well, I'm going to walk away from that was that has had me so grief-stricken and emotional. Walk away from that. Because when you do, I feel you're going to walk right into something way better for you. You're going to find your Ten of Cups. It just wasn't where you thought it was. This is what you got where you were looking before. These are two tens right here. This cycle is ending. I'm just looking back a little bit, guys. Yeah. So you got two tens right on the table, right here. Ten of cups, ten of wands. This is um, a completion of sorts. Um, with this ten of swords especially, this is a completion of a cycle of betrayal. I do feel as though you're having a very hard time walking away, though. See this death card? It's in the reverse. This is the right side of it. I'd way rather see this side come up for anybody than this side. All right, this side... There's nothing wrong with this side. This is a time of really taking in your emotions and prepa preparing yourself. Uh, maybe even both of you preparing yourself for the change that's coming. Um, it feels very much to me like this card where you're in that dreamy kind of contemplative stage you, where you know you know you got to walk away, but you haven't quite done it yet. Um, you're being guided. By Archangel Michael here um, right on the top of your bottom of your deck saying I got you but this wasn't right for you you're contemplating that forward motion that's going to help you get over this to get past it to so that you can move on to what you really want because the whole thing is you really want this you just didn't get it where you were 
there will be victory here for you. It's not the pretty victory, okay, that we just walk into and, you know, the knight on the white horse comes in and everything's beautiful. This is a hard-fought victory. You had to go through this. And you've had to do some grieving. And you got to, had to be pushed into a new beginning abruptly in order to get this victory. So, yeah, they don't look pretty like these guys do, right? It's not as pretty, but it's a victory nonetheless, and it was hard fought. See that victory reef? It's there. It's yours. But you had to get bludgeoned and bloody and dirty to get to this new beginning, this victory. This is a victory. It's victory that happens when there's forward movement in other words that forward movement when you walk away from all that didn't serve you here is what's going to help you walk right into where you're supposed to be you're being divinely guided because you were in the wrong place <clears throat> excuse me here i go again i'm so sorry my throat just wants to close and not talk all right I feel like you're not talking to this person, obviously, because my throat chakra says that something's going on. There could have been an argument, a fight. Somebody could have strained their voice because that's how I feel right now. Um, there's another sign that I had a very hard time with. With my Every time I'd get to the sword cards, my throat would shut down, and I thought, somebody can't talk to somebody. I wish I could remember what sign it was because it could have been the person you're dealing with. But long story short here, this victory comes when you move away from the old and into something that's better for you. You're being divinely guided to your Ten of Cups. But if you fight it, if you stay stuck in the death instead of receive it gracefully and say thank you for helping me transform and end something that needed to be transformed and end... If you keep holding on to the, well, what, what if I don't? What if I do? What, 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 what? Nope, do it. You're being divinely guided to walk away from something that was just a dream. It wasn't real. It wasn't reality, but you're being guided towards your reality. In other words, spirit's not going, hey, walk away from this. You know, this person who put you in third parties and did you dirty. Hey, walk away from this, and then we're going to give you nothing. Spirit's saying, hey, when you walk away from this, we're going to guide you right to where you were supposed to be, right? That was a lesson learned. Good job. Now it's on to what's the real deal. The real deal is still right here. It's just that you um, you were off path or you were on path. You were meant to um, experience other things. That's why we come here, to learn and experience other things. It helps us appreciate the real deal when we find it, right? Knowing that we went through this makes us appreciate this much more. All right, so you're going to be moving, like I said, victorious movement forward. There's where your victory is. And again, we have the Six of Swords right next to it to prove that once you move, I mean really move, take action away from this thing, you're going to move into peace. Beautiful. Absolutely. You're going to have a brand new cycle here, Wheel of Fortune. This is going to be a beautiful new cycle for you. Something you really needed to have happen happened here. It might not have been what you wanted to happen here, but it had to happen here, and the Divine had to step in for you because you were just, you were kind of living in dream world here. And really what dream world was was a nightmare. It really was. It was all bad. It wasn't good for you. It was a place where you were going to be, you know, betrayed. Someone was going to always be sneaky. They were going to sneak out of the situation anyway, I feel, and they probably did. All right, now, <clears throat> let's see what we can find out for you, Taurus. Um, let's use Crystal Vision deck. All right, we used Vice Versa Tarot. We're going to use the Crystal Vision deck to um, clarify Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most for this Taurus reading for January 22nd to the 31st, 2020. Please um, send through messages for the people that are guided here to see this reading on YouTube for anyone with Taurus placements. 
All right, let's go. For Taurus, January 22nd to the 31st, 2020. Why is this particular Ace of Wands here? What's going on here? King of Cups reverse. That's the King of Love in the reverse. He's an emotional manipulator. That's somebody who was probably stringing you along. All right, why is the King of Cups reversed here with this particular Ace of Wands? Your new beginning waits for you, and it's going to contain your hopes, wishes, and dreams. You're going to have to leap away from this King of Cups thing. All right, you're going to have to get away from this to be able to achieve, achieve your hopes, wishes, and dreams. This person was being sneaky and shady, and they had third parties. Um, the king of love, the king of emotional manipulation in reverse. All right, so the only way to get to your hopes and dreams is to leap right away from this um, third party stuff. Yeah, I feel like this abrupt new beginning came because of, I feel like you discovered this or somehow found out what was going on here in this situation. All right, let's look at... Um, for Taurus here. What about the Five of Cups? Why is the Five of Cups here? Please, Taurus reading. Why is Five of Cups involved? Okay. Yeah, we got the Magician. We've got the Two of Swords reversed. So, you had to really tap into your intuition. See how their eyes are, are covered? But they have their intuition. You had to tap into that to make a decision. And now you're manifesting in something much better here with the magician. You have all the tools you need to get what you want. You know now what you need to do. And you're still in a little uh, sense of grief here. So it, it'd be a good idea to, for you to manifest yourself right after there, right out of that grieving that you're doing. I'm right into something more balanced. Um, let's get the something more balanced. This is... This reminds me of the magician. See how he's wearing the robe that reminds us of the magician robe, especially in this deck, the vice versa deck. That looks like the magician card. I don't know if I can see it very easily. I'll show you. Um, but it, it's the same robe the magician wears when um, the magician is doing their thing. I'm just peeking through here to see if it pops out. I don't see it. We're not going to waste time on it. But, you know, it's right next to the magician manifest that balance and equal give and take someone in your life who um is going to share with you and not you know manipulate you into believing that which isn't true the knight of cups in reverse right this is someone who's not sincere but i feel like this is you walking away from someone that's not sincere let's get one on that six of pentacles trying to figure out where in the universe you're going to find someone who ha who's going to give you this equal give and take here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here, please? Six of... Okay. Yeah. Eight of Cups. It comes when you walk away. Like I said, when you walk away from this, you're being divinely guided to walk away from it. You know, this is the divine stepping in and say, please, please walk away. Um, when you walk away from this, you're walking right towards your Ten of Cups. You're walking towards, if we hold it this way, probably you can see it more clearly. You're walking from the Eight of Cups where there was nothing there for you, but a manipulator that put you in, a, this is an emotional manipulator. That's why you're walking away from something very emotional here towards ten of cups something real that's something real all right so you're being asked just as i predicted that this was you walking away to go to something way better right in the middle of your reading this is the most important part of your reading to know there's something better out there for you divinely guided okay let's look at that ten of cups why is the ten of cups here right in the center of this reading for taurus why is the ten of cups here Taurus, Eight of Pentacles. I mean, I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten, ten. All tens. This is definitely the end of a cycle, and here's your new beginning, the wheel. Very last extra card that came out in your reading, very ironically. Yeah, there was nothing here for you. 
this foundation was never ever going to be sturdy for you it was just not it wasn't it this was a dream oh just the two of us you know no it was not going to be that it was always going to be the three three and three all right it, it's just that you didn't know it somebody bamboozled you they bamboozled you all right let's look at the um ten of swords why is the ten of swords here for taurus please ten of swords Yeah, clarity. You see it now. Well, there you are. You're looking, you're looking at what somebody did to you. Could have been one somebody, could have been more than one somebody, whoever it was. You're looking at what they did to you. You can see it now. Clarity. Seven of Cups reversed. This is lack of clarity. This is clarity. You clearly see that you were being taken for granted and you were being um, completely betrayed here. Completely. Death card in reverse. It's a different perspective here. Like I said, vice versa tarot, it's not really reversals. It's more like a different perspective. What is this perspective of the death card doing here, please, for Taurus? This is the non-traditional side of the death card in this deck. Why is this here like this for Taurus? Why is this particular death card here? Yeah, three of pentacles reversed. Third party, again, you have so many threes in this reading. Also, it's deciding not to work on something um, you're trying to figure out how to transform something here. And the truth is, no matter how you try to contort this, it's really just, you know, it has to really transform. It really has to, you have to transform. You have to go from thinking that you're going to make something work that was really just never, ever what you really believed it to be. Um... This is, you know, not investing anymore in this. I feel like you're being told, don't invest anymore in this. There's something way better. All right, let's look at this um, Six of Wands. Why is this Six of Wands here, please? Like I said, this was a hard-fought forward victory here. Forward motion happening. Why is this Six of, or six of Wands here like this? Why is this particular... Okay. Yeah, took a lot of strength, and now you're able to stop defending yourself. Stop fighting for it. The minute you stop fighting for something that really was never going to be what you wanted it to be, you move on to victory. This is something that you've had a very hard time walking away from, for whatever reason. I feel like you had this dream that just can't happen, and you're just possibly now really seeing that your the reality is hitting you all right let's look at the six of swords why is the six of swords here please that's too many but let's look at them all right we have here the full reverse the high priestess reversed and the moon reverse wow all right so secrets are definitely coming out high priestess reverse moon reverse this is secrets this is secrets coming out Something's coming out here. And with the full reverse, that's when you, it's when it, when it hits you and you go, oh my gosh, I'm not moving forward with this. I'm moving away from this to peace. This is someone who moves away from a situation that's this. All kinds of secrets coming out. I'm not going to move forward with that. I'm going to move forward to, to peace. So this is you basically, um, with the knowledge of finding out about all this third party stuff, and there's a heck of a lot of it in here. This is that aha moment too, with that judgment card, knowing that this person was really doing secretive sly things, leaving and going off into third parties, leaving you, the beautiful empress behind. Um, this was just all third party. Look at it. Third, third, third. Okay. Um, 
was some kind of dream you had here to make this work out. And now angels are guiding you to try and get you away from this. Once you decide that I'm not going to move forward with this because I know now that there's a lot of secrets involved and they're coming out and I need to move away from this. That's what's going to help you in this situation to see, see them for your own. I feel like you need to see things yourself in some way or, you know, find out in some way exactly what it is. So you'll stop fighting for it because it, it was never going to be what you wanted it to be. This is something that just wasn't, it wasn't the thing for you. Um, you're being guided to the right thing for you away from the upside down foundation and right towards something that's gorgeous. All right, let's look at the um, the wheel here. Why is this wheel here? Please, Taurus reading. Oh, gosh. Darn it. So sorry, guys. All right, why? That's way too many. Um, why is the wheel here? Please, Taurus reading. Why is the wheel here? That didn't really come out the way I like it. I'll get another one. Why is the wheel? Okay, wow. All right. Wow, look at that. Oh, my gosh. The wheel, the one that came out really weird out of the blue, Wheel of Fortune Reverse. So this wheel was not able to turn, but it will. It's going to now. And you know why? Because you're going to work on closing out a chapter. Eight of Pentacles and the world. So you're working on completing. Now, this isn't just closing out. This is completion as in I graduated. Graduating a big cycle. This could have been months long. This could have been years long. This could have been years and years and years long. Finally realizing I have to work on closing this chapter out because if I don't close out, I mean complete and graduate, this is graduation day, this cycle, I'm never going to get this. I'm never going to have my wheel turn. It's always going to stay in reverse if I don't close out the old one because the wheel comes in when we open a brand new chapter, a new cycle. So I think you're starting, it's like reality is going to hit you during this time of where you got to go and what you got to do to get this new beginning that's yours. It's, it's waiting here for you. I don't believe you had one ace here, did you? Not one ace. Because you've been keeping yourself so stuck that you haven't even been able to have an ace presented to you. But the angels are trying to show you what they want to give you. They want to give you all of this won't be tomorrow. You're going to have to do the work first. You're going to have to complete, work on completing an old cycle and getting this wheel to turn so that you can bring in that new cycle. Once that happens, you'll be allowed to have like things like aces and new beginnings. Um, let's get some after tarot. Hopefully an ace will come out during the after tarot for you. Maybe more than one, hopefully. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Taurus. For this reading for Taurus, for anyone that resonated, for anyone with Taurus placements that resonated with this reading, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that will be guided to see this reading here on YouTube. What's next here for this reading? What's next for anyone that resonated with it? There it is. That's what they promised you. What else is next for anyone that resonated with this reading? Taurus reading. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, that's nice. All right. What the angels promised you. Ten of Cups. That's what they promised you. Just stop dwelling on something that was some illusion that was never going to be what you wanted it to be. Stop dwelling on that and walk towards what we're asking you to do is walk towards something else. Walk forward in victory here. Um, because we're taking you here. They promised you that. Here it is in After Tarot. There it is. Ten of Cups that they promised you. This is victory. This is a celebration. This is a happy, happy Three of Cups. Yeah, maybe you're going to reunite with someone that's, um, that's that means a lot to you. That's a Knight of Wands. Not the manipulative Knight of Cups. The one where there was it was all an illusion. It was never happening. Maybe this Knight of Wands is somebody very important. Or maybe this is just like you taking action. This could be... A, a knight, uh, King of Wands sometimes is a card of action, just like the Queen of Wands. Taking action to go towards joy in your life. Go towards your Ten of Cups. This is a lot of... This is all happiness. 
Okay, so what you're being told is if you follow what we're telling you to do, you get this. You get justice. You get balance. This is this is that balance you were looking for. There it is. Justice. And you get truth. Honesty. A new beginning. There's your ace. Told you it'd come up in after tarot. I felt it coming. You deserve a truthful and honest relationship. One that's real. This was never going to be what you wanted it to be. Um, you are totally being guided towards all your hopes, wishes, and dreams here. Look, you're being guided right to your Nine of Cups. But you're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to do what you're being guided to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like the person who had you in all this third-party stuff was a big player. I also feel like they probably were karmic. We didn't have the devil come up, but I'm kind of surprised. Anyway, guys, let's get you um, a few angel cards here. Angels, what do you want Taurus? Anybody who, fo who um, resonated with this reading for the Taurus reading, what do you want them to focus on? Taurus. <coughs> there you go. Expectancy. Expect joy. Play. This is what they want to give you happiness but you're going to have to have synthesis and for me this is always happily going with the flow of where you're being guided to go and finally living with someone or in a situation or having a life that's filled with truth truth honesty all right guys i hope somebody resonated with this please tell me if this was your reading comment down below taurus i hope it all works out for you guys um, like, share, subscribe, and let me know if you need a reading. I still have a special going on. I'm going to be announcing it in a few minutes. I'm going to put a video out for it within the next hour. All right? Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.